What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with Lorenzo, Jerry, Edward, and Jerry Lorenzo. You just wanted the best sneaker, and there was nothing that compared to it. It was Jordans or nothing. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna talk about Jerry's collaborations, and then the squad's gonna help him do some shopping. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, shoot! Yeah. Shoot! 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 Hey, shoot! Jerry, we'll talk about your Nike collaboration later, but you All do right. have a knack for making shoes, even that you didn't design your own. These, do you remember? These were yeah. a moment, but you started it. Yeah, I mean, it was all based on silhouette, color, comfort. It was something I could wear with everything in my closet. When I'm picking a shoe, I'm trying to find something that I can buy maybe multiple pairs of, mm -hmm. so I don't have to think about it in the morning. I can just pick it up and go. I mean, this went with my jeans, my sweats, my shorts. Like, it was just a perfect silhouette. So, yeah, I, lo I love this shoe. How many pairs did you have of those at one time? Maybe like 20. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I just, I just go ham in one direction. This killed me because they, like, changed the silhouette right here. Yeah. See how the sole, like, starts to come out? And then as, as a designer, you notice those things more than oh, probably yeah. the regular audience. Because I was pumped that the white ones were coming out and then I saw this new little feature <laughs> and it killed me. Yeah. The other thing so. I like is that you kind of wear archival stuff, like the 92 Pegasus. Is it the nostalgic feel for you or just you love archival stuff? It's more nostalgia, yeah, for sure. It's more like the emotional connection. It's just like I don't buy Jordans with a Jumpman on it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, it's not the real thing. Right. You know what I mean? So I need that Nike Air on the back kind of thing. It's, it's that emotion that I'm always kind of chasing in fashion or through design. Jerry, we got to talk about these. A $50 Vans era inline model. One of the most valuable Vans collaborations of all time. What was it like getting that opportunity and watching it explode? I was really just trying to tell this California narrative around our collection in PacSun. I wanted to tie it back to the checkerboard Vans, Spicoli, Fast Times right. at Ridgemont. So that's kind of where this all over print kind of came came from was a was a nod to the classic checkerboard and playing on that with this like rock T logo that we just took and, and, and played with it. And it was a, an opportunity to be a little bit more playful than I usually am, mm -hmm. just because it was living at PacSun. We did have to fight for like a vault silhouette that would live in PacSun, because it had never happened before. And there was no way that I was gonna put that crazy looking silhouette yeah. with our logo on it. So, you know, it was us just continuing to try and be disruptive and like forcing kids to go back to the mall, yeah. you know? And don't be too scared to pick up a pair of Vans and a, and a pretzel at the same time. A few times a year, you get together with the old crew and it's like a caption that always comes up, Chicago kids. You were here for this design. You were working yeah. with Kanye. What was it like being hands-on in that design? It was a, an experience I'll never forget, man. It was just, you know, working next to, to Ye, I mean, say what you want to say about him. He's, he's probably the hardest working person that, you know, I've ever worked with. Just to uh, watch how, how particular he was, watching him push Adidas. <laughs> to places and territories that they hadn't been before. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of the behind the scenes was pretty big learning experience for me and, and, um, and what I'm doing now. You know, we see Virgil, Don, and you now with this collaboration. What's it like to, to be a part of that? I always kind of feel like um, prodigal son or something, okay. a part of that crew, because, you know, they were all like legitimately like really close friends. It was because Kanye saw my first Fear God collection that I was brought in to the circle, right? you know? Um, and so my branch was kind of already living before, was right. tied to the circle, and then it was still kind of um, living beyond that. But um, I was so humbled by, by the fact that the first time I met with him that, you know, he held up a white t-shirt and he's like, I can see all the thought that went into this basic white tee. Yeah. And I'm like, exactly. You know what I mean? From fabric to drape and neck hold and how loose the arms yeah. were. You know what I mean? Like we saw things the same way. And so um, when someone that you look up to sees what you see in your work, it's pretty humbling. So um, it, was, it was a great experience. That brings us to this. Yeah. A brand new silhouette from Nike. You know, a lot of people get collaborations with Nike and it's colorways. This built from scratch. You know what? I'm, I'm so in it. 
that I don't really, I don't have words for the emotions yet. Right. You know, the opportunity came and it wasn't this opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we talked about this before. I mean, it was, I was willing to walk away from the opportunity if it wasn't something like this. Wow. I'm not as talented as Virgil where I, where I can take something and play on it. You know, I've got one specific idea. That's where my convictions lie, you know, and it was meeting with Nike and, um, trying to find a way to take the modern performance shoe right. and get that to transcend back to the street the way the Jordan 1s and 2s and 3s did back in the day. And my whole proposition was was shape, right. you know? And so after watching this guy fight and push Yeah, Adidas, the fight we talked about, you know, yeah. I said, hey, you know, I'm down to do a shoe, but it's gotta be my shape. And I flew in my last from Italy, right. and mixed that with you know their technology and their innovation. Had about 200 different references of Nikes that I loved, but this was actually the first thing that I sketched. Okay. And, and it stuck here. But yeah, this is about two and a half, three years in the making, man. So I'm, I'm happy that it's like finally here and, and living and breathing in real life. I want to talk about Jordan. What was it like to see the Jordan ones in that era? You had the best of the best who had the best shoe of all time coming out year after year. And back then it wasn't about colorways and collabs and all these different things that are happening now. It was right. like, you just wanted the best sneaker. And there was nothing that compared to it. It was Jordans or nothing. You're a big Iverson guy as well. Yeah, hundred percent. He disrupted the NBA, yeah. you know, to, to the point where the refs were against him and the league put in a dress code, a, a dress code to uh, change the way, you know, he was dressing on the way and through the tunnel. Called him a gangster and said, hey, these guys are looking like gangsters. And, you know, all the movies that I watched growing up, the gangsters wore suits. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't, he was just looking like one of us. Right. You know, he was fighting for our opinion on how we present ourselves uh, to be valid. He had to fight off the court. He fought on the court because he was a buck 50, 5'9, five, 5'10. Yeah. Five, yep. Going in against Shaq and first game of the finals, put up 48 when they were supposed Crazy. to get swept. And I reference him a lot because I see a lot of what I'm doing and the way that he played and the way that he carried himself. All you have is the belief of you and your team. Definitely. You know, even when the world doubts you, yeah. if you have that, that's enough. Let's fast forward a couple decades, a new generation. Yeah. Your son and your nephews. This is uh, my nephew, Edward. Lorenzo. Little Jerry. Little Jerry, my buddy. Talk about his shoes and how excited you are to see those. The basketball ones, I mean, like, I have to play in those. I just have to. <laughs> we can right. play in those, My bro. feet have to touch them. Yeah, we have to touch them, bro. Yeah. Well, we talked about everything now. You guys get to browse the shelves, see what you're going to take home. Ooh. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, you guys each get to pick one shoe. This is heat right here. You guys ready? That's it, that's it. I got it. Hallelujah. I got off whites. I saw these All on right, StockX. All right, we got happy campers, Joe. So your total is $2,989.36. Ooh, three Gs. Getting them fire shoes. There you go. Acronym swag. There you go. We out here. Now we we're walking now. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So, Jerry and the squad came through. Congrats on the collaboration. Thank you guys for taking the time.